OK, so finally, uh, let's talk about the main topic of today's lecture. So that is flow control. Um, so there are several ways that we can uh, do the flow control. So that basically means that so when you want Python to do something that is complicated, um, you can use flow control. So uh, we have if statement, range function, for loop, while loop. We, can al we also have the continue, break, and also pass statement. OK, so today we are talking about if statement and uh, in the following uh, two weeks. So we are talk about range function, for loop, or while loop, and also break continue pass statement. So if statement is used for conditional execution. Uh, so basically, it, we will set, we will compare a condition. So if the conditional test is true, OK, so there are several, several uh, cases that will be considered true. For example, uh, you can use the comparison operators, or you can base on the value of the data. And then Python will execute the code that are following that if statement. OK, uh, so the syntax is this. And if the test is false, then Python will ignore the code that are following that if statement. Uh, the syntax is if, and here you need to tell the condition. If this condition is true, um, uh, they will execute this code. OK. Um, the code can be another if statement. So that means you can have a nested if statement. And pay attention here. So after the condition, we need a colon. OK, to tell that, OK, so uh, after the colon, so that will be the stuff that if uh, uh, we, we need to execute if the if is true. And also pay attention here. So here we have the indentation or the white space. OK, so that can tell pass. OK, so this part is something that we need to execute. So basically, so if, OK, and you tell something is true, again, make sure you have the colon. And next, you have you need to define the indentation, and that is the part that Python will execute if this part is true. If you write that without those indentation, so those will not be considered part of this if statement. Okay, so make sure that you do have those colon, and also you do have this indentation. Otherwise, you will receive a syntax errors. OK, so let's uh, try something in our editor. So for example, let's say if 2 is greater than 1, colon. And now if you type Enter, you can see by default, the editor will give you the indentation. So here you can see print, OK, and 2 is greater than 1, OK. And if you don't have the indentation, so here if you see print not in the if block, okay, so without indentations, so this part will not be part of this if statement. So that will be executed by Python, no matter if this is true or false. So now if we run it, you can see we, this part has been executed because this is true. OK, the result of this is true. OK, and also this part is also being executed because that is not in a part of this if statement. So if we try another statement, say if 2 is less or equal than 1 and print, here you can see 2 is less or equal than 1. OK, so now let's see what will be the result. So this is true. So this one will be printed out. This is false. So this one will be ignored. And this does not belong to any of those if statements. So this will be executed anyway. So now if we run it, you can see we printed out this one. And also we printed out this one. And also, as I said, so it, the, the code within this if statement can also be another if statement. So for example, if we here we continue say if three is greater than one colon, 
and now we hit enter. So now we have two indentations. So that means this part belongs to this if statement. So let's say print three is greater than one. Okay, so now let's see how it works. Okay, so we know that, okay, so this is true, so this one has been execu executed, and this is also true, so this one has been executed. Okay, so what if we move that one inside of this if statement? So now I just use, I just ta uh, hit tab, so that uh, this if statement and also this if statement have the same indentation as this print sentence. So that means they all belong to this the top if statement. And now let's see how that will work. So now you can see this is true. So this one being printed out. And next, this is true. So this one being printed out. And the next, this is a false. So this one has been ignored. And this one is still being printed out because that does not belong to any of those if statements. Okay, uh, so now let's talk about if else statement. So um, this is a little bit complicated, but give us more controls. So this means that we will take one action when the conditional test pass, and we can take a different actions in all the other cases. Okay. So else statement will allow us to define another function or action that if this one is not true. Okay, so the syntax will be like, so if this one is true, we will execute it, the code here. Remember, we have the indentation and also the colon. Else, else, after colon, so for after the else uh, keyword, we don't have anything, so just a colon. So that means if this one is false, we will execute the code too in this case. If this one is true, we will just execute the code one. Otherwise, we will execute the code too. Again, pay attention to the colon and also the indentation. Okay, so those are the places that for beginners that always will uh, miss and also will always get errors. All right, uh, so now let's look at some examples here. So let's say if 2 is less or equal to 1, we will print uh, 2 is less or equal to 1. OK, and we else colon. And you can see they also um, give you the indentation automatically print. 2 is greater than 1. OK, so in this case, this is false. So we will ignore this part and we will execute this part. All right, so now you can see we have this one. Output that 2 is greater than 1. And let's try another um, example. So here we see that if 2 is greater or equal than 2, we print 2 is less or equal than 2. Sorry, less or equal than 2. Else, we say print uh, 2 is greater than 2. OK, uh, so in this case, we say, OK, so 2 is less or equal than 2, which is true. So we will print this one. Otherwise, we will print this one. So um, the result will be 2 is less or equal than 2 because this is true. So we executed this one and also we ignore this one. All right, uh, finally, so let's talk about the last one that is if, L if, else chain. Okay, so that will give us more controls or more flexibilities. So that is when there are two more than two possible solutions. So we will run each conditional test in the order until one condition uh, passed. And when a test passes, the code following that test will be executed, and the Python will ignore the rest of the test. So basically, we say if the condition is true, we will execute this 
one and also the others will be ignored. And and if this one is false, we will go to the next one. If that is true, we will execute this one. So this will be ignored and this will be ignored. And this is false. And if this is false, and we we'll go to the last one. So this will be executed. OK, so that is the order. And let's see one example in our code editor. All right. So let's see if two is less or equal than one, we will print. Actually, you can print something else, but just in, in uh, to see which uh, code has been executed. So we keep the same. We keep the same uh, statement as in this if statement. And next, let's tell let's have l if two is less or great than two. We print. Okay, two is less or equal to two, which is true actually. And else we print two is greater than one. Okay, put that into a string. So now we can see this is false. So this one will be ignored. And we will move on to next one. That is true. So this will be printed. And this one will also be ignored. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so that is the result that we expected. Okay, uh, finally, so um, let's see another example. So let's say uh, I'm going to type if now print one. So this used to be a uh, to be a quiz, a question in my quiz, but l if empty dictionary print two l if this one colon and print three else print four okay so this used to be a quiz that uh in the previous years but this semester since we don't have quizzes so i want to ask you so what will be the output so before you run this code so think about what is output so you can pause the video here and also think about what is the output okay so let's check so now is considered false right so now is considered false so this one will be ignored and we go to next so this is an empty dictionary that is also considered false uh, so this will be ignored and here this is a string zero Okay, it is not a number zero, it is not an empty string, so this is true. So this one will be executed, and this one will be ignored. So the final output will be print three. Okay, uh, so that is the if statement. Okay, and finally, uh, so do, do not forget to upload your lecture code to GitHub. So I'm not going to demo it here. So uh, you should be able to do it on your own.